So, since Geno 360 just doesn't seem to get it, I'm going to explain it to the rest of you, the more intelligent YouTubers that happen to be watching my videos, just how deep the rabbit hole goes against moderators. Now, the irony is I have to link to TV Tropes, which I worked so very hard on and yet get no appreciation for it, and in fact am banned from it, which only further proves what I'm saying is true. What I want to talk about is how moderators just in every way exemplify the computer is a cheating bastard. In this case, people are cheating bastards, but the principle here is moderators are like an overpowered AI against the PCs and the players are the members that can't win for losing. Uh, let's see, the all-seeing AI. That seems to sound like moderators. Moderators can check every one of your posts. They can see hidden posts. They can see private messages. While it may not be ethical, there's nothing to really stop them, especially when they can construe it into a, a, a justification for banning you, which they will do at some point. Um, contractual boss immunity. That applies too. Something that would get you banned obviously isn't going to get a moderator banned. It sure as hell ain't going to get them banned too. And in fact, even just bringing it up will probably get you banned. So not only does it not work against them, but then other people, observers, other witnesses, are not going to say anything. And nobody does anything. And the moderators get away with it, and then they're encouraged to commit that evil in the future. Uh, that could also apply to my rules are not your rules. That may as well just be what the terms of service says, because that's what it really is. Their rules are a different standard than what they apply to you. And then they expect that to be some kind of agreement? No. See, a binding agreement requires both sides, both parties, to be on equal terms. If you can't do that, then it's not a contract. If you think it is, by all means, go to a lawyer. I have. And they say the same thing. So, don't play that game with me. Uh, not playing fair with the resources. Well, that kind of goes with the all-seeing AI. You know, since they can see everything and they have much more features and things to command and to alter your posts and fuck with you and things, it goes without saying. Uh, so, most of these are self-explanatory. They're pretty redundant. Uh, the ones that I want to most talk about are the secret AI moves and SNK boss. Secret AI moves because, uh, well, I guess that could go with uh, my rules or not your rules. Because when I was playing chess one time, I did see how the computer does not actually follow the rules of chess. Uh, most games of chess, uh, if you can either move your piece toward the king and keep them from make their, their king from making a move, you win. So, uh, it's easier to just try to get the king rather than kidnap the king and keep them suspended from moving. But in some miraculous case, I was able to suspend the king from all sides with pawns. There is no way he could move to any side, and even if he were to move forward, my other pawn behind that pawn would have gotten him. So, that's a checkmate, right? Well, apparently the computer didn't seem to think so, and somehow I lost. Even though my king was nowhere near that whole spectacle, my king was safely uh, in some corner, away from his pieces, able to, his pieces could not get to my king, my king was able to move around, whereas his king was vulnerable, very vulnerable. How is that uh, a loss? You know, that is a pure checkmate. And yet, somehow the computer still saw it as a... Uh, a victory for it. And it got me to thinking, that's exactly how it's like on an internet forum. You cannot win. You cannot continuously post at a forum. At some point, a moderator is going to have a spur up their ass, and you're going to get banned. And you know who people are going to blame? They're going to blame you. They're not going to blame the fucking moderator that has that power, is the only one with that power, and cannot stop. And you cannot stop him in any way, but he can stop you, and somehow that's justified. And then you don't want me to call you neoconservatives or fascists or anything like that. What, what else do you call that? That is political fascism. When you obey authorities to such a point where you love the authority, where you think that absolute authority is necessary, that is fascism. 
I'm sorry to tell you, but yes, ideologically, you are just as bad as the Nazis. You might not be killing the Jews specifically, but you're targeting an entire group of people all the same. I may as well have a fucking yellow star on my chest or some bullshit like that. It may not be me being in a death camp, but it's the same principle. That's what I keep saying. It's about the principle. It has nothing to do with the physical ramifications. It has nothing to do with the fact if it's exactly the same thing in the principle. It's the same premise. You are def defending the same Nazi premise as that. The only difference is the physical semantics. And that's not what's important. What's important is the principle of which is being advocated. And that's what most people aren't getting. So just like chess, I figured, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not dealing with this bullshit. That is not how you play t chess. That is not chess. If the computer can just pick and choose what makes chess and what doesn't, then that's not a game. That is not rules. That is chaos. That is controlled chaos where the AI is just making up shit as it goes along. And that's exactly how an internet forum or anywhere else with a moderator is. It's controlled chaos. It's them dictating at a whim what is and isn't. What's good and evil. What's right and wrong. What's black and white. And it means nothing because it's all in the subjective willpower of that individual and you cannot have that in a functioning society you cannot say you are civilized you cannot say you're liberty minded that you're that you want freedom that you want equality that you want democracy or any of that other bullshit when you allow that to go on all those fucking so-called communists at rev left or sovietempire.com or even some of the motherfuckers that read it when they advocate moderators they are against communism, they are against anarchism, they are even against liberal socialism. Because by saying that a moderator has the, app, the right to do this, they are saying that yes, it is okay, it is may even be good for there to be an absolute authority. That we want that authority. We want someone to stick a jackboot up our ass. We want someone to walk all over us. That makes them superior. The very entitlement that they think they're, they have makes them superior to everybody else. That is the the pinnacle of fascism. And then for you to go and claim that you're left wing at all. Bullshit. So to Gino360, you mad bro? Cause guess what? You are a neocon. Down to your core, you're a fucking neoconservative fascist asshole. Doesn't matter how much you like the gays. Doesn't matter how much you care about the democratic process. Doesn't matter if you're talking a lift. It doesn't fucking matter. You support absolute authority. That makes you a fascist. If that bothers you, do something about it. Reconsider your ideals. Stop to think about what the natural end result of those are. But you're not going to. Because you want to keep thinking that Jim Profit is the problem. Even though Jim Profit is bound to a different set of rules than the moderators. Jim Profit doesn't have the ban tab. Jim Profit doesn't have any kind of feature to alter your post. Jim Profit does not get the benefit of the doubt when he's around a group of people on the internet and says one thing and somebody else says the other. Jim Prophet is always on the weaker side. Jim Prophet is always having to carry the burden of proof. And for you to say that only just proves furthermore that you yourself are evil. You love evil. Evil makes your day. You get high off of the evil. If you didn't, then why do you defend it? Why do you keep making excuses for it? When it doesn't benefit you, you're not the fucking moderator. And guess what? Sucking their dick isn't going to do a whole lot of good. Because guess what? Since they can change their will at a whim, all they have to do is get mad at you or not even be mad at you. Just be like, oh, well, I want to ban him. I don't think anything of it. I don't care. I don't have anything against him. I just feel like it. And then they do it. And you just wasted all that time kissing their ass. It's just like the chess game scenario. Because why am I wasting my time playing chess with a system that doesn't even stick to the rules of chess? If there are no rules, then there, what's the point? You're the one that says that society needs rules. You're the one that says that society needs rules enforcement. Why would you leave that in the hands of individuals as opposed to the system itself? We live in a modern technological age where we don't need individuals anymore. 
and whenever we do it can easily be replaced or moved around there are ways or there are methods around uh, giving someone absolute authority even the very process of which American politics is founded on in creating laws is not a monarchy it's not even a direct democracy it's a representative republic and while there may be flaws in that at least there is some method to the madness in that you can't just say oh well we're gonna do this and if we get enough people involved in it it's happening it doesn't work that way how the republic works is one group of people says that's a good idea they get a majority vote then it goes to the senate floor the senate tosses the idea around and then if they like it too then it goes to the president to sign or veto and while the president most likely won't veto if he wants his job still he'll uh... sign it or he can veto it if it's really that morally op opposed to his beliefs and then if it's law but at the end of the day the supreme court can rule whether or not it's constitutional or unconstitutional and some people argue whether or not the supreme court has merit but the president picks the supreme court and the president alone can't even he, well the president does pick the supreme court alone but he needs the consent of the senate the senate and house of representatives i believe it might just be the senate i'm not sure about that one but either way the president cannot just pit hand pick supreme court judges that he personally likes he can't just pick his friends because while he himself does pick them the Senate, at least, has to say, okay, I'm okay with that. You know, the majority of Senate has to say that he's okay, they're okay with his picks. And so, that's the system. The system does not have any single all-encompassing authority figure. It doesn't have anybody that's somehow immune or somehow enforcing the law it is an organic system the law is organic because everybody participates to some extent or at least would if our votes at the bottom meant something but in the republic itself uh, it's an organic branch and it has a natural flow to it now the thing here would be to include everybody in that process and it actually be a democratic republic as opposed to a constitutional republic where there is this all-encompassing law documented by all these people and it is objective and then from there they have to act around that objectivity you have this piece of paper laying here and it writes down all the laws that exist or ever will exist you cannot contradict this paper if you want to you have to veto something that existed previously on the paper or add to it add uh, variations uh, you know a little star symbol and things like that citation needed I guess you could say so that's how the Republic works and unfortunately we at the bottom don't get much of a choice in that matter and you know the democratic republic would work very similar to how people seem to think democracy would work except it wouldn't just go from point a to point d there would be point a b c and then d and that's how you have law that's how you have order without enforcement without dictators without rulers and isn't that what the ultimate goal of a communist or anarchist or socialist is a world without rulers a rule a world without class struggle a world without one class up here and another class down there a world without people with one set of standards and another set of people with an entirely different set of standards and that's what you support you support the class war you support the perpetual enslavement of the working class of the proletariat and whatever form that takes on you may not personally think that poor people are stupid and just shouldn't be able to vote and things like that but in principle you do in principle it is your mentality and the mentality of people like you that have caused all the suffering in the world and moderators are solely responsible for it the blood is on their hands and how long must it continue how long must it continue that we have to put up with this shit how long must it continue that we have to play this fake fucking game of chess that doesn't mean anything because the AI is a cheating bastard and just makes it up as they go along how much long must we pretend that this is somehow semblance of reality that this is somehow real when on a whim it means absolutely nothing so think about that for a minute if you're capable because uh, a bunch of people say too that oh you must have done something really terrible to get banned from 4chan nobody gets banned from 4chan really like 
every five seconds there is someone on Chainable with a an image macro that said you are banned for this, and they cover up their IP address and shit like that. But clearly, a lot of people get banned, and to the point where there was actually on TG, um, someone made a 4chan card game, and they called the discard pile the banned pile. So how often do they fucking ban people where in the card game banning is a major component to the card game itself, probably one of the biggest, and it's a joke. That's not, it's no jokey matter. There's nothing funny about being bullied. There's nothing funny about someone having this much power over you and being able to apply a different standard entirely to you than to themselves. That's not a fucking laughing matter. That's very serious. And that's very dangerous. That is rape. And those you, by laughing about it, are condoning the rape. You are somewhat responsible for the rape. So, in turn, you're a rapist too. You are rape by association. You are rape. You are assisting in a in a rape. I know there's a word for it, but I can't think of it right now. Where you are conspiring with the rapist. You are an accessory. That's the word I'm going for. You are an accessory to rape, and you're gonna get all upset. You're gonna butt hurt. You're gonna tippy typey away with your stupid little bullshit. And at the end of the day. Moderators are still telling you what the fuck to do. Moderators still have an entirely different set of rules for you than they do for themselves. Moderators get to sit on their ass and fucking jack off all day, uh, you know, laughing at the rest of us, while we have to bend over backwards to please them. But meanwhile, you know, they just get to do whatever. And we're the ones busting our hump, you know, making the intelligent content. Everything you see on TV Tropes is mine. I worked my fucking ass off for that. I didn't get paid for it. I didn't ask to be worshipped for it. I merely thought that I would get the respect and admiration that I rightfully deserved. Out of my creativity, out of my inspiration, out of my uh, you know, nature to make content and to bring that content to other people, to enhance their life, to give them a new perspective. I figured I would be respected enough to be left alone to my own devices to do my thing without being infringed upon by other people. And they couldn't do that. Everything you see on TV Tropes is a tombstone. It is the graveyard of my own sweat and blood and tears. And what do I have for it? Nothing. But meanwhile, fucking fat ass piece of shit Fast Eddie gets to spin around in his chair just jacking off shooting up heroin, whatever the fuck he's doing, just laughing it up, that he robbed me, that he raped me. I hope that motherfucker dies. He's like 50-something years old, he's, he's very obese, God willing, he gets a heart attack or a stroke or something and just dies. If God loves me, he will kill Fast Eddie at some point in time, preferably painfully, and preferably I know about it so that I can gloat about it. So... I guess that's it.